Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use variables in TCL. Uh, in NS2, we need to write our simulation script in TCL. So we need to learn how to use variables. So in TCL, there is no need to declaration of variable. Use them directly. And uh, there is no assignment operator actually. For every task, we need to use a command. So if we want to assign a value to a variable, we need to use this command set variable name which you can take any let's say I'm taking a and 10 so the meaning of this command is that store 10 in a let me take some other variable set C 2.3 now let's say I want to print value of a so again I need to use a command puts and dollar a so when you put dollar with any variable it will replace by its value so let me show you the result of this script. So it's printing 10 successfully. Now, in some of the NS2 code, you will find notation like, uh, let's say, like this one, set A. So when you don't have a value, when there is no value followed by a variable name in that case, this command return value of A. So you need to remember if you are using set command if the variable name is followed by a value in that case it will work like assignment but if there is no value in that case the value stored in this variable will be returned now next thing is that uh, let's say i want to create a variable x i want to assign value of a so you can write dollar a so in that case what will happen dollar a means 10 10 will be assigned to x so let's print value of x what it will print so it's printing 10 it means it's working now the next thing is that how we are going to perform addition subtraction so for those uh, operations there is a command expr and after this command you need to write what you want to do so let's say i want to add 12 in this number so this command, what this command will do, this command will perform this operation and return the result. Now, where we will store that result, how we are going to store that. So we know already that if we want to assign something to a variable, we need to use set command. So we will write set, let's say R. So is that okay? No, it's not okay. Because in this one set R, here a value is, a, a value supposed to be here but what we are doing we are writing a command what we want that instead of command this com entire command should be replaced by its result so in that case we need to enclose in the bracket so in tcl what is the use of bracket whenever you want a result of command so in that case you go for bracket so when this command will be executed what will happen first of all this command will be executed exper dollar a plus 12 and this entire expression with bracket will be replaced by its result and that result will be stored in r so let's see what will be stored in r so in r 22 is stored it means our uh, expression command is working so in pcl you can perform all your uh, operation like uh, in like this one okay so in similar manner you can perform division multiplication subtraction so and one more thing like uh, when we print something this is puts demo so when we are printing two masses so every message by default will be printed on the new line so in case if you want to print on the same line we need to write no new line so let's execute now. So just wait. Mm. One minute. No new line. So uh, 
values. So you have to write this flag with the message after which you don't want to print the message in new line. So when we use no new line here, so uh, the normally what will happen actually when you print any message, let's say demo, what this command will do, this command will print demo and immediately transfer the printing cursor on the new line. But in this case, what will happen? In this case, this will be printed and the cursor won't go to new line. The cursor will remain on the same line and the demo will be printed on the same. So this is the way how it works. Thank you very much for watching.